I'm still trying to think what we can do with the girl that's at the top of the casino. Um, as far we haven't got anything to give her. We gave her the disco card and she confiscates it. Don't that's something to do with it. Maybe that. I don't know. What if I touch it? You might try using the bottle of pills on yourself. Let's uh, let's save here. What happens if I use the pills on myself? Is it going to kill me? It's probably going to kill me. Uh, popping the pills. Popping the pills. Right. Let's use the pills on ourselves. Without thinking, you swallow the entire bottle of pills. Saying stuff is okay, you think. But wait, soon your breathing becomes heavy. Soon you become horny. Soon you must have relief. You've got to do something, and now. You wander around the location of that cute little dog you met outside. Oh god, that's horrible, no. I don't love animals, no, I don't, I don't agree with bestiality. Following your conviction for bestiality, you spent the rest of your life in prison, turning big rocks into little ones. Interesting, I'm glad I saved. Right, so we don't want to do that. Can we give the pills to... Can we give the pills to, to Faith? Or whatever her name was up at the top of the casino, maybe? I reckon that's what we're gonna do. It's the only thing I can think we can do. There's nothing at the chapel, there's nothing at the convenience store. There's nothing at uh, the disco. There's nothing at Lefty's Bar anymore. So the only place has to be the casino. And the only thing I can think of is uh, Faith, who is on the roof. Or on the. Not the roof, the, the top floor. Alright, paying the money. I'm not dying now. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy, okay. Go in. No, wrong, wrong one. Go in. Don't, don't unsip yourself on the door. It's not very good to moon people inside. All right, let's take the lift to the to the top floor. Just eight. All the way up, and we we'll listen to the lovely elevator music. Right, seven and eight. Can I give her the pills? I don't know. I don't think this is gonna work. But it's the only thing I can think of. Hello, underboobs. How are you? How how I missed you. What's that? Faith only gives the ball of Spanish flight a quick glance before saying, Boy thanks, how did you know I love this stuff? She tosses back a few pills, then a few more. Finally gulping down the whole bowl, her breathing becomes faster and faster as she begins to pant. She's really getting turned on. It's like tonight's your lucky night, Larry. Alright, so Fraun wasn't the goal then, it was this lady. I'm out of here, cries Faye. I've got, got to get home to my boyfriend before this stuff wears off. Okay. Why did you not just use it when you got home? Thanks a lot, buddy, shouts Faith across the hotel. We'll do it once for you. Twisting her key in the lock, she appears down the unmarked employee staircase. Sorry, lad, it appears Faith has true to her name. Right, can I do anything with her desk? Oh, there's a button. The penthouse elevator door glides open. That was an elevator? Alright. Alright. I meant to do the eyeball there. Uh, now that there's no longer staring at the face ample weapons, you notice an unlabeled button on her desk. Well, that was a stroke of luck. Alright, let's try and go right here. What's up here? Oh, oh, where are you going now, Larry? Oh, I should have saved. Oh, God. Oh, God, no nipples I'm going to have to censor. Uh, let's have a save. Save. Pressing all the right buttons. Pressing all the right buttons. Save. Right, I'm going to have to censor those paintings. Uh, what's this? What's that table? It's exactly like a coffee table. It's a bed. It's a... We can go outside, it seems. No? What about over here? Oh, I found more of a house. Oh, what's this? Oh, look, it's a portrait of Jesse Helms. It doesn't look like a portrait. Well, I mean, it looks like a portrait, but it doesn't look like a painting. It's like a macaroni picture or something. Oh, what's that? Got a point. Oh, I'm doing a point. I've got 162. I'm not doing half bad. Let's grab the flattened babe you never felt at, Larry. Can I blow it up? Maybe? You huff and puff and you blow your doll up. Okay. 
Holding her out at arm's length, you pause and admire your handiwork. Well, that's been censored. Right. Foreplay is not really necessary with inanimate objects. Right. Does it mean you want me to follow them? She feels so lifelike for latex while this exit. Uh, walking out of the closet, you clumsily catch your new latex friend on the protruding nail. There's a loud, flattened sound, and suddenly. Oh, damn. Uh, was I meant to do that? Did I fuck up? Did I have to reload? I like how I just casually walk over to see where it's going. Where is it going? I have no clue. Oh, it took me outside. To a lady? There's not much we can do out here. Well, we can probably talk to her, right? Hey, gorgeous, allow me to introduce myself. You say, my name's Larry, Larry Laffer. Uh -huh. Hello yourself, Larry, she replies. What an attractive leisure shoot. I so miss them. It's refreshing to meet a man with so much self-confidence that he's willing to flaunt the fecal trends of fashion more, mores, mores, and deeply travel the road of his own secure manis, manis Man, it's... God damn it. Just imagine I say that word right. I like this, like... What? Like, slide like thing. Well, uh... You star. I've always felt it is a look that's right for me. A man has to do what a man has to do, I always say. She piles up at you. I agree completely. I'm so tired of men who wear and say anything just to gain a woman's favours. Do you think? I would never do that. That's exactly what you were trying to do. To her you say with a smile, and I so love what you are wearing. She laughs and a sense of and a sense of humour. Larry, you are one special man. Why don't you slip in the water and we'll see if we can really get to know each other? Oh, have I reached the pinnacle of the game? Go and sip. Glancing around you notice no chain of seats near but oh what the hell. Yeah, let's do that. Into the pool. Wasting no time, you ex execute your Previously, only pre visualized spa hop landing in the warm water. Oh, does it feel good? It's nearly as similar as the beautiful naked woman next to you. With the warmth of the water soaking into your body, you quickly become quite relaxed. And right, now, what can we, can we talk to her? Oh, hello. Who loves your baby? She says nothing, but her smile tells you results. What if I. You smell so good, baby. You tell her, what is the purple you're wearing? Apple blossom. Apple blossom. Apple blossom. No, surely not. Oh, it did. It actually worked. Eve takes your apple and with a sweet, innocent look, raises to it to her mouth. She takes a small bite and then lowers her arm as the sexy smile comes across her face. She winks, then almost immediately she lies back slightly. Sliding deeper into the warm water and chews delicately. Okay. Eve gently slips her sensuous tongue around and around the lucky apple. Tiny drops of apple juice glistening on her lips. She really is turning you on. You had no idea fruit could be so exciting. So what, we're going to lose our prime because the fruit got in the way? After a few bites of your apple, Eve slowly slides out of the hot tub. A steamy naked body glistening in the moonlight. Barely covering her tremendous assets with the towel, she tosses you a towel, smiles, and motions for you to follow her. Well, let's follow, shall we? Saying Larry smiles, Eve, you really are glad to see me. What's going on? Something bad's going to happen, isn't it? It's not going to happen. It's like she's going to tie us up like the other girl. Right, she pats on the bed. Choose you a good sign. Oh, and I towel. I'm gonna probably sense that. Yeah. Right. We lay in bed. And there's suddenly fireworks. Fireworks are cool. I like fireworks. Does that mean we were successful? Is that is that the end of the game? Did I do it? Did I do a thing? Oh. Congratulations, Larry. You've done it. 
has actually completed your evening in lost wages. Lost your virginity and emerged victorious. Of course, your feelings of success are short-lived since this is where Ken Williams has to tell you about all the wonderful sequels to this game that you now are required to play. Hey, Ken, come on out here and give them your pitch. Seriously? Just watching us from the closet? <sighs> I will play the sequels, but, uh, damn. Read the mood. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ken Williams. Does look like Ken Williams. Hi, folks. As CEO of a major software publisher, you might think I'm above pitching products for our loan. I know, I don't think that at all. Boy, would you be wrong. I don't want to be pushy, but in my humble opinion, I think you owe it to yourself to run out to your local 24-7 software store right now, grab yourself a copy of every chapter in the now seamlessly never-ending saga of Larry. Larry Laffer, <laughs> our Lowe's lovable lounge lizard. You would really enjoy Leisure Suit Larry 2 for looking for love in several wrong places in which you help Larry abandon his lizard-like ways and find true love on a breathtakingly beautiful tropical paradise called Nootunant Island. In spite of the efforts of the KGB and the evil Dr. Nonuki. Okay. I was like, how they're just laying in the background. Just don't care in the world. Or you may prefer Legend Suit Larry Free, passionate patty in pursuit of the pulsating petrols, in which you play part of the game as Larry, but also play as passionate patty, a woman that is everything Larry is not, and has everything Larry does not, too. So you're seriously going to end the game on a sales pitch. But I really hope you select my favourite personal. The Suit Larry 5, Passionate Patty, does a little undercover work, which Patty truly comes into her own, helping the FBI clean up the, up the entertainment industry while Larry must find the sexiest woman in America for his employer. That hot new syn uh, syndicated television programme, America's Sexiest Home Videos. Is he just making these up? I don't remember these being the titles. You may wonder why I didn't mention Larry Suit Larry 4, The Missing Floppies. Me too. The problem is, we don't know where it is. You know me. If we could find it, I'd send it. Well, enough about me. Now, let's hear about you. Oh, okay, he's just going to walk away. But I had so much to tell him. I was going to tell him how I'm a game developer just like him. But no. Well, I'm a game development trade, whatever. Oh wait, I almost forgot to tell you how well you played. How well did I play? I don't know what my score was. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't look. You played okay, I guess. On behalf of Al and Mark, Ken and Roberta, Oliver and Lisa, Mike and Laura, Bill and Patty, Bob and Ginny and Ted and Alice. Thanks for playing, and be sure to tell each of every one of your friends to buy their own personal copy of this game. Hi guys, want to go buy that uh, erotic game? Yeah, totally. Totally embarrassing thing to mention. Love you, baby. Is that the game? I think I'm done. Right, so that's been Leisure Suit Larry. Um, I'll probably do the other ones in the future at some point. Um, I'm trying to get back into YouTube, so uh, I will be doing more videos, hopefully, from now on. It's over, quit, get a life.